tonight we are going to be dining at the Grand Destino up at Toledo, the newest Disney World resort, and I am so excited. This place looks fantastic, but I'm not alone. I've got some friends. That's true. I have friends. Josh and Taylor at work. Hi. <laughs> because this is a brand new resort, really don't know where to go. And uh, the only thing I do know is we're going to the 16th floor. We're going to the top. Look at that. Toledo. The Dolly Lounge. The Dolly Lounge. Look at that. Touchscreen elevators. 16th, right? 16th floor, please. Oh, sure. crazy. It already knows. It knows you're where you're going. So it's like, look, it That's says 16 so cool. right there. Oh my the word. This is this is fancy. I don't know. I think I'm outclassed. This is high tech. Yeah, yeah. Like high tech. It should be good. After you. Aww. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Wow, look at this place. Pretty amazing. So, our reservation isn't for another like 45 minutes. We're gonna hang out at the Dolly Lounge because the views are spectacular over there. And it looks pretty nifty. Definitely looks pretty nifty. Look at it in here. Wow. New favorite lounge right here. Hands down. Yep. I think I found a new favorite lounge. Yep. Look at these beautiful pictures of Salvador Dali and Walt Disney. Look at this. Staring at Walt's train. So if you guys don't know, this is the inspiration for this hotel. And it was a remarkable event when it happened. And honestly, I think it's so cool to have a little history. Before I actually sit down, I really got to take a look at this view out here. Oh my word. Look at this. Swan and Dolphin, Tower of Terror, Galaxy's Edge. Look at that, Blizzard's Beach. Oh my lord. Mount Everest. Wow. This might be a better view than the California Grill. All right, it's time. We're getting ready to go in. Our table is ready. And look, it's starting to get very busy here. Wow. I say him wow like it's my first time seeing it. <laughs> Even though I've just been in here, it still caught me off guard. So we opted for a window seat. And we actually asked for this and they, well, they, they accommodated we us. We asked for a window seat and they said, yeah, let's see what we got. And then they offered this one. So it's actually really nice of them. And they don't like to say no. So if they can do it, they'll say yes. And that's Disney for you. Look at the fancy menus. I like it. They have a like separate. So you got tapas, beverage, food. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna get myself an Estrella Damn Pale Lager. Cause that looks pretty good from Spain and it's $8 a draft. So somebody actually ordered us the octopus tapa right here. And that was very nice of them. It just showed up. We don't know who it is yet, but thank you. Whoever sent this over to the table and we're excited to try it. I have never eaten octopus before. So this is going to be something special, i tell you that. I'm not so much afraid of the octopus itself, I'm afraid of all of the other garnishes and stuff that's on it. Oh, there it is. Oh boy, and also we got a tomato bread appetizer. This looks good actually though. Wow. Oh boy. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Look 
at this little nifty thing that holds your silverware. Mm -hmm. This is for the tapas, but look how nice these silverware is. Heavy too. All right, I'm doing it. Off the foot. Right here. There. Going. I like the bread better than the octopus. It's really, really good. And this, what is this, tomato? Like, yeah, tomato, crushed tomatoes and olive oil. Crushed tomatoes and olive oil goes amazing on this bread. It's like jelly almost. Okay, ready? Look at that cider. Wow. Great, thank you. Josh is definitely the cider king. When it comes to ciders, he knows his ciders. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the Estrella. Estrella Pale Ale. Estrella Pale Ale. <laughs> I could never drink that. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna eat another piece of octopus because we're not gonna let that go to waste. And Josh didn't like it. <laughs> Too. No, he liked it. He did. He's eating it right now. <laughs> Let me just grab this tentacle here. Oh, you got an extra piece too. Oh yeah. You can talk all you want. I like the background noise. I was gonna ask you a question. Oh, I'm eating the octopus. Look at how delicious that is. And it's funny that it reminds me of shrimp. Octopus reminds me of shrimp. The next plate came out. We got sardine, mussels. And what's the other one? Blue cheese? Look at that. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to like that blue cheese. I think it's blue cheese with apricot and honey. Fig and honey. Fig and honey. <laughs> I will not be eating any of that. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anchovy and manchego first. <laughs> I tried octopus for the first time. Now Josh is going to try an anchovy for the first time. Momentum occasion. How do you feel about that? Alright, so... So while we were waiting for our other tapas to come out, I decided to come over here and take a good view of the other side. And look at this, this is all of Coronado. You can see Expedition Everest over there. And Space Mountain right over there, a little bit to the right. But it's very pretty. Wait a second, Josh had the same idea. <laughs> this is the tapas bar. Look at this, wow. Oh, there's that octopus. There's the chorizo. Some sure. Oh, what is happening there? Wow. <laughs> Discover the magic. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Look at those octopus. Amazing. How's that smell? It smells good. Very good, very good. Oh, hit it again. <laughs> that was very good. Wow. Look at this. We came back because the special churros are here. And this is a take on churros that's a little bit different. A little bit spicy. Excited. Not spicy at all. So, Josh, me and Taylor are gonna finish those up. Let me try this piece. Oh, God. oh all right. See, no, no. He needs the. He doesn't like churros. Wait, because I, I had a piece that like. See, this, this is like extremely coated. Okay. Oh, uh, you. I had, a, I had a piece that wasn't as coated. Okay. So let me, let me try this. I'm gonna try it without the sauce. Because 
I know Taylor was eyeing those up too, and I was eyeing them up like, yes. They are really good. So the waitress just said to sprinkle a little lemon over it. I'm gonna take your old piece that you broke off there. Go for it. Oh, oh, that's probably not. Lemon and sauce. No. Oh, oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. So we're gonna do that and uh, see how it comes out. Bob. <laughs> you got butter fingers over there? <laughs> so we just ordered our entrees. Taylor got the steak, the filet. Josh got the chop, the pork chop. And I'm going with the uh, red wine braised chicken. So it uh, should be good, even though we ate a lot. We ate a lot of like octopus, the chorizo. Why well, didn't eat any of the uh, mussels though? So. And then the bread. Oh, and the tomato bread. Small bites. Four. Yeah, but not too bad. We're taking our time. Oh, yeah. So, one thing about. Uh, Toledo is they don't have access to outside balconies only in the lounge area so I decided to come back over to the lounge area because the sun's getting down a little bit and I really want to take a look outside oh. look at it all such a really cool relaxing spot seats and chairs out here too I like it so as it gets more towards nighttime this actually changes colors and if you're looking for a firework view you have to be on this side to the left to see anything magic kingdom wise and then on the right side you can see hollywood studios and a little bit of epcot but honestly probably the best firework viewing is probably going to be for hollywood studios because even the magic kingdom one it's only a slight little tiny corner that you can actually see any fireworks from but we're going to hang out and uh Hopefully watch the Tower of Terror light up and some of the flares from uh, Star Wars Galactic Spectacular. Do you know that great feeling when you leave and use the restroom and come back and your food's at the table? That just happened for me. Look at all this. Josh's pork chop, Taylor's filet, and then my chicken is over here. And I, I'm excited. I got the chicken because it looks phenomenal. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Overall first thoughts is this looks amazing. Yeah, this looks really good. It does look really good. I know. And these are potato chips. Look at that. Look at this. I have never had chicken this tender before. Look at this, it's pulled apart. Oh my God. This is amazing. $28, that's $32, and that's like 38? That's not bad. Like these prices are fairly good for Disney prices. Is this not a signature restaurant? It has to be a signature. I mean, look at this. Who says this is not a signature this restaurant? Very elegant. Seriously though, this chicken, I'm like blown away. Potato chips, the tomato rice, the carrots, and then the chicken itself. I'm like, wow. Oh boy, I cleared the plate or bowl. Look at this thing. I know. The first time I ran that. I gotta say. That chicken dish was probably the best chicken dish I've had in Disney World history or property or everything. But now, I'm gonna see if we can take a sneak peek at the Magic Kingdom to see if we can see any fireworks. So, we can't really see much of Magic Kingdom, but they told me I can come into the Moonlight Room, which look at this place, you get a little quietness and you get to see the wine racks and look this is the main strip of lights that's going right down the grand destino and right over there yonder is actually space mountain i'm excited so josh actually came over on the other side because people are lining up to see uh i guess illuminations right can you see much 
Uh, you can see a pretty good set of fireworks going off earlier. Ah, very, very, very. If you look right over there, you can see the Tower of Terror. Oh, yeah. So actually we went out to the balcony to see if we could see a little bit of illuminations and it's better actually watching it in here but you can't see anything because I can't film through the glass but I'll try to get you a good perspective of what it looks like. No, see it's really tough. Oh yeah, maybe right there like that. Look at that teamwork. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that firework view. Ah, there you go. So that's it. Had a great time. Food was amazing. The lighting in here is fantastic. And uh, yeah. So uh, they're gonna head out, and I'm gonna probably hang out by the water a little bit. But I'm glad I had great company. Awesome. Check Look at the outside. I came out here after saying bye to Josh and Taylor because this is what I was looking for. Look at this. And you can look straight into like the lounge area. Unbelievable. I like it a lot. I like the water. I like all of it. Beautiful resort. So I think that's gonna do it for me. I had such a phenomenal night tonight with Josh and Taylor. We had a ball. Dinner was fantastic. Everything from the octopus to the chicken to oh man there's some oh the tomato bread everything i really enjoyed all everything there probably in my top five favorite restaurants i know that's a big number to say top five of but i love it here atmosphere wise probably top three unbelievable i will definitely be back i don't want to leave actually but uh, i guess it's time for me to go so uh love the life you live and uh we'll see you next time bye